and welcome to the space that gives you inspiration on work, on life, and how to balance both worlds. Um, it's been exciting um, discussing what my process has been like, and I'm glad that you guys are enjoying um, being able to hear how my brain works. And like somebody asked me in my DMs and went like, eh, but it seems so much, right? And um, here is what I have to say. Two things that I have to say. Um, one, yes, it's a lot. And uh, can you imagine that when you don't plan before, you're living every day going through this process. You, it's very unintentional. You have no idea you're going through it, but you actually are going through it every day. So what seems a lot that I do in three days, that I do in one day, you're doing every single day so while it seems a lot for me um it's actually even more for you who's not planning because you're doing it every single day you're having to go through each of those processes every single day so ultimately when you think about it isn't it so much better to just take off time to think through it so that now moving forward after planning all you're left with is actual execution so that's one but also secondly, remember guys, the process of planning is very different from execution. And when you look at, and I've shared this before, God is a planner and he made us in his image. If he made us in his image, that means our DNA thrives on planning. Exactly, because if he made us in his image and he's a planner, then that means our DNA, our very own DNA, thrives on planning so yes when you say oh my gosh this is it just seems too 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 much please remember those two things but if i could also add a third thing yes it's too much but with time it starts to get easier but also the process of planning and organization and all of this you know kind of trying to find that balance in the work-life balance side of the world um as time goes, it becomes easier. You start to get faster because you're doing it over and over again. But guess what? You start to get smarter. You start to do things better. Before when I'd started the process, um, this process in my life, my quarterly planning and my monthly planning were two different processes. But I've now got into a place where they've actually synced and I do the exact same process for my monthly planning and my quarterly planning. And in fact, the time has started to become even faster um, because doing it over and over and over and over again and perfecting my art has made it so much easier. Yes, when I talk, even when I talk about it, I'm like, yo, that's, <laughs> ooh, wow. But the truth is, when I'm doing it, it's so much faster. The only process that does take me that's still taking me a while, yeah, is my weekly planning process. And that's what we are here to discuss this week. What is my weekly planning process? I usually do this process every Friday or Sunday, but I strive to do it on Friday because Sunday is not very, uh, it's not very, very, very favorable for me, but I try to do it every Friday. And yes, are there some Fridays that I don't? Yes. Um, I try to make sure that my planning process is still flexible, right? And that I'm not feeling like I have been choked by my own planning process. But when I do do my planning process on Friday, this is exactly how I go through my planning every week or at least most times of the week. Um, the first thing that I do is check my reminders and my alarms, right? Because there are times when someone will call me and then I couldn't pick up and I'll usually put a reminder to call that person back or I'll just use my reminder app, okay, on my phone. Remind me to do this, remind me to do this, remind, 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 I'm doing a lot of reminders. And so one of the things on Friday when I sit down on Friday evening is I look at my reminder app and look at everything that I said that I was supposed to do. Was it, um, an event was it a meeting was it a call that i needed to do was it a task was it an errand was it a particular activity that i was supposed to do i get all of those things and i write them down the other place that i look at is my messages so that's both whatsapp and my um, message app on the phone i will usually write um, things like see you like in the search 
because there are times I could have forgotten to write down, you know, the fact that some are supposed to meet someone, I'm supposed to call someone, I'm supposed to write a certain email, there's a certain activity I'm supposed to do, I could forget. So there are some keywords that I look at when I'm searching, like maybe on WhatsApp, see you on, or um, call me, or email, or let's talk. I'll also search Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, this Monday, this Tuesday, this Wednesday, this Thursday. So that I look at who did I promise that I was going to meet, to see, to call, or all of that stuff. And so I get all of that um, also together and I, I put it into a particular list, like I write an entire list. So I've checked my reminders and alarms. I've checked my uh, my messages both on my phone and on WhatsApp. And then after that, I also check my emails, okay? Which emails did I get this week and what did I promise? Who did I say I was going to send an email to? Who did I say? All of those things. And if I haven't already done it, I'll also write those ones down into that to-do list. The second step is I look at my calendars. That's my phone calendar, my wall calendar, and my desk calendar. And remember these ones, I'd already pre-filled them in the annual calendar, in my annual planning, and I'd also fill them in my monthly planning and my quarterly planning. So I have to look at those activities that were already pre-planned. pre planned pre Anyway, I have to look at all the activities that I had already pre-planned to do in my annual planning, my monthly planning, and my quarterly planning, and I also have a look at them, okay? I'll also put them into this master to-do list. The third thing that I look at is my brain dumps, okay? I've talked about brain dumps over and over again. I have a brain dump in my handbag, I have a brain dump at my desk, I have a brain dump at my bedside. So I'm looking at all of those ones and seeing what did I, what ideas did I have, what thoughts did I have, what dreams did I have, what inspirations did I have, what activities did I want to do. Anything that I said that I wanted to do, move them all over to that uh, to-do list. See why it's longer for my weeks, but I know I'll find an easier and smarter way. I just thought I should share what's happening with my process right now. Anyway, the fourth step is now I look at uh, my, <laughs> my phone app, yeah, has an app. My phone has an app called To Do East, okay? Um, and so usually I'll move my master list into my To Do East. But that means there was a, some activities that I'd already put in my To Do List before, okay? So I'll look at them and say, okay, what activities didn't I do? I also include into my master To Do List, okay? Ah, now that I'm done with all those, all those ones I have been capturing events, meetings, calls, WhatsApp, texts, tasks, errands, activities, all of those things are now in a master to-do list, which I then at this point prioritize. Now, I shared last, uh, last month the few different uh, ways or models that are available for you when you are prioritizing. Um, I'm looking at two in particular, but for today, let me just talk about that time that I, would, I was using the Eisenhower matrix. So the Eisenhower matrix, um, I already explained in that video, this is the point when I subject that master to-do list to the Eisenhower matrix. I look at what I need to delegate, I look at what I need to actually schedule and do, I look at what I need to postpone, and I look at what I need to leave altogether that's not useful, okay? Based on what's important agent and urgent, important not urgent, um, not important urgent, and not important not urgent. So after I have subjected my entire um, to-do list, my master to-do list, to the Eisenhower matrix, and I know what I'm delegating, scheduling, postponing, and leaving all together. My sixth step is execution, yeah? Um, so at, the, at this point, I'm thinking through the execution process. I'm saying, okay, so the things that I said I was going to delegate, this is the time that I now call the person, I email the person, I text the person to whom I'm delegating this role to so that they know at least by, the, by Monday, this is what they are going to start working on. So that's usually my team um, at the cradle, that's uh, my, um, uh, anybody that I'm working with, my team at Alias Foundation. So whatever it is that I'm having to do, uh, at this point, Friday evening is when I will call, email, or I will text them, or a combination of two, or even all of them, just to make sure that the tasks that I needed to be delegated have actually been delegated. Then, then the ones that are to be postponed, okay? 
I will now move into my Todoist app. Okay, remember I told you about a Todoist app and how when I'm looking at the Todoist app, I look at the activities that to do that I said I was going to do that I didn't do. This is how it happens. It's because I've said I'm going to postpone certain um, activities on my master to-do list. I now move them to this to-do list. Next week, right, I will look at my to-do list app and find the ones that I had postponed. And then I'm looking at whether they are, it's time now for them to, you know, go into motion, right? So anything that I wanted to postpone, I am now going to put into my to-do list app. Then the things that I said I'm going to schedule, I'm actually going to bring out my calendar, okay? And like I've shared before, my Mondays are my admin days. So I look at those activities that I've said I'm going to schedule. What are the activities that are admin, right? I get all those admin activities and I put them on the Monday, on Monday, okay? If it's a technocrat day, I will put, if it's a technocrat activity, I will put it in, on Tuesday. If it is a marketing and customers issue, I will now put it under Wednesday. And then Thursday, every meeting that I have said, now is the time for me to schedule that meeting. And sometimes I'll find that I have clashed meetings, right? Because I know I meet on Thursdays, okay? So now this is a point when I'll say, okay, let me allow this particular meeting is an admin issue. I can bring it to a call to be done on Monday, which is my admin day. After all, when I do it, it will help me do my admin work. Does that, does that give you some um, sort of understanding of how my brain is working at this point when I'm doing the ex execution planning, right? So I will usually call people and now either extend meetings to the week after, reschedule them or whatever it is that I need to do at this point for every task that is to be scheduled. So now I know what I'm going to do on Monday. I know what I'm going to do on Tuesday. I know what I'm going to do on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday based on the activities that I have said are going to be scheduled after I have subjected my master uh, to-do list to the Eisenhower matrix. And then my last and final step, step seven is prepping. Okay, this is the point that I prep and you guys have seen me go through my prep process. Well, some of it anyway, but um, I will do things like, and usually the truth is this prepping process will usually go over the weekend or will happen on a Sunday. Okay, so this is when charging happens, um, charging of um, your phones, of uh, lamps, of laptops, of, you know, those things that you forget to charge. That's the day when every, every, every uh, socket in the house should be at work because everything is in charging mode. And the truth is for certain things for me, if the charge goes out, I'm just like, yeah, until next week. So things like my watch, my smart watch, things like those ones. Uh, I charge once, if it goes out on Tuesday, uh, that is it, I'm finished. So I need to find some clever ways to do things like that kind of charging. The other thing that I do is I've been on medication for a while, uh, but I don't know, maybe even you might be on medication for a while. So I actually put into my medicine, my little medicine cabinet that drugs that I'm supposed to take Monday all the way to um, Sunday. So uh, this medicine is for Accutane. But say for example, you might be having a long-term disease, maybe it's diabetes, maybe it's HIV AIDS, maybe I don't know what disease it might be and you need to be taking tablets or even your child got sick on Wednesday or Thursday. This is the time for me that I now put all of the medicine so that I'm not thinking about medicine again. No, I'm not thinking about it. The third thing that I'm prepping is outfits. So I'm prepping my outfits for Monday through to Sunday so that I don't have to think about it. And if I feel and change my mind at the last moment, I will change my mind and wear something else. Yeah, it's, no one has put me on a yeah, but it's just that I know that the clothes are there. And if I don't wear a certain outfit on this day, in this particular week, I know that it can move over to the week of the next week. So I'm cool, I'm cool. So planning the outfit also happens on this day. Planning the accessories, so things like the handbags, the shoes, the earrings and stuff like that also happens um, on this day. Uh, but usually, to be honest, I reach a place where I'm just like, you know what? I just need the same pair of earrings, the same pair of shoes, and the same, same handbag. That's where I've reached right now. Um, and then the other day someone asked me, eh, 
you like those shoes so i think i might have to change again i don't know yet how this is going to work but i can't wait to have a walk-in closet where i can have a particular compartment where i will put through all i will put in all the five the seven clothes seven sets of clothes with their handbags and shoes for the week that one has to happen when i work on a walk-in closet i mean in Amen. 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 Believe with me. Thank you very much. The Lord has heard my prayer. Anyway, so outfits, accessories, and then I also plan out the meals. So the meals is not plan out. I prep the meals. So this is a time for meal prepping. And you've seen that ha process already happen before. So we'll do the meal prepping on this day, knowing fully well already. We already know what we're supposed to eat. So we're just kind of prepping everything. So that's pretty much what my weekly planning looks like. It's more intense and more detailed and it does take a bit of time, but it does happen and it helps me because then the next days are much easier. I already know what I'm doing on Monday, what my focus is and how it ties into my monthly plan, my quarterly goals, my, and my annual goals. I know that what I'm doing on Monday is so important to my end of the year goals or when i'm looking at the end of the year at what i've accomplished i know that what i'm supposed to do on monday was extremely important do emergencies happen absolutely but when they do happen you postpone stuff you move on and find a way to ensure that you still do the task that you're required to do now if this sounds interesting and this is something that you would like to be a uh, to be able to do on your own I'd like to invite you to the annual personal planning getaway scheduled for 28th all the way to 30th of October that's Friday Saturday and Sunday and all the details including the venue and the price you can find in the description box until next time I can't wait to see you when I talk about guess what my daily planning yeah like what after weekly planning we still do daily planning absolutely so i can't wait to see you next week until next time bye bye Mwah.